the first time that this Maori group of unschooling families came together was also at the first camp that I attended. And um, the first days were rough for me. It just felt like a super white space. (laughs) It was hard to get comfortable. It was hard to just feel like I could just be myself without, I don't know, just like weird questions or I don't know. It just felt uncomfortable. I had a couple of uncomfortable conversations and it just didn't feel like I belonged. As I said before, after you guys had that first hui and it's just Moana stood up and was like, this is not the space if you're going to be sensitive about certain mm. things or not want to hear about racism or whatever. Like this isn't the space for you yeah. because we're going to we're going to say it as it is. And you just started speaking, you know, speaking your language on your land. And it just really just mm. felt like. That was my first feeling of being like, okay, I can belong here, right? And not because, yeah. you know, I'm clearly not Maori. I'm, I'm black every day of the week. Every, yeah, that's, my, that's not the question. But just that feeling, like I said, as though I was putting my foot in, in soil that could birth something other than capitalism and colonialism. And like that something else was possible here. That's what it was that made me feel like, okay, I can belong here. Yeah. And that was a real realisation for me, I remember in my 20s, was just kind of being like, how dare these people make me feel like I don't belong here? On your own land, girl. On my own land. (laughs) How dare these people, you know, like, how dare these people make me feel that way? Mm -hmm. And then kind of like beyond that space, having the opportunity to unpack all of those reasons why other people feel like they have the power to do that Mm. and then to situate that where it belongs Mm. in the trash. Yes. No? Yeah. 